moving to the last kind of tactic, and you talked a little bit about this because you know emotional health fits in the health span bucket as well. But you know, when people think about longevity, emotional health is not something that usually comes up a lot. And so, what would you say to someone who maybe is taking the steps in their nutrition, their exercise, their sleep, you know, drugs and supplements? but not necessarily focusing on their emotional health, what would your advice to them be on how emotional health, you don't necessarily correlate it all the time with longevity, but you find it to be an important aspect? Well, I mean, I think there's two components. I, I think there is enough evidence, um, though you could never prove it, that, um, that you know, a, a person who's um, managing their stress better, who's happier and who has better relationships probably also lives longer. Um, uh, certainly the epidemiology suggests all of that. That's, that's, that's not unclear. Um, but, but I'm acknowledging that that would be very difficult to demonstrate causality, right? There could be, you know, people could be happier and have better relationships and all those things because their health is better. So it could be reverse causality there. But, but I think there's actually enough evidence that, 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 that there's at least bi-directional, uh, causality there. But I think to, to help somebody think about this, I would say, just forget that. Let's pretend that being miserable, lonely, and angry helped you live longer. And that if you were happy and you had great relationships and you were in harmony, you would live shorter. Who would choose the former when you frame it that way? Right? Outside of extremes, like, okay, happy people can't live past 30, miserable people can live to 100. I'm sure a lot of people would say, well, I'd rather be miserable at 100. But the, the truth of it is, like, even framed that way, it seems ridiculous. Right? So all of that is to say as a thought experiment, just forget the lifespan piece of this. Just think of it through the lens of common sense. Why would you ever choose to be unhappy? It doesn't make sense. And I think what maybe for me was a big insight late in life was you can do something about this. You, you, it's not, you know... Um, everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a history. Everybody's got a background that brings them to the, to the table. Um, but it's all modifiable, right? So the software can be modified is the point. And, um, you know, again, there, we've got so much content on this that I, I obviously couldn't go into it in any de detail here, but, um, you know, I think the most important thing for the purpose of this discussion is that this entire area is as important potentially more important than all of the others, because without this one in check, the other ones don't matter.